Hello and welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we're taking a look at a Barracuda uh, all-in-one sump pump and, sump and battery operated sump pump backup system. Comes with a five-year limited warranty. This was purchased recently from Menards to replace an aging sump pump in my basement and add a battery backup as, to it as well. And so let's take a look at what you get in this kit. This kit comes in a decently sized box. And as we open the box and look up, there it gives the website for Barracuda pumps. Uh, when you look at the website, it mentions the Barracuda pumps are exclusively sold at Menards. Um, I've got a feeling, but I can't prove it yet, that Barracuda is just a branding of pump that's exclusive to Menards, and it's just really made by one of the other major pump companies. As we look at the top here, we've got some terminals for a battery. You should note a battery is not included with this kit. There's a plastic baggie here that has nothing in it. That's kind of disturbing. And now we've got a battery, I'm sorry, what looks like a battery charging transformer and the power cord that goes with it. We'll set that aside. We've got our owner's manual. We'll want to save that along with the receipt. This is just empty packing cardboard. And now the first thing we see on top here is the battery housing, the battery case with the backup. And so the battery case here, we can see that there's a fuse on the system here. There's an alarm mute that you can mute it. Uh, here's a plug-in for the battery charger, uh, a pump on alert, a plug-in for a float switch, and the actual battery pump. And this housing should keep your battery all nice and dry. And you can see here's the connections that go into the battery. This requires a marine battery, um, or one that you can, or a deep cycle battery that you can run all the way down. They come in a variety of forms. Uh, but they are 12 volts, so you can run it this way or with the other battery clamps to be able for the post, depending upon the battery you've got. I'll show you the battery I've got whenever we're done here. I actually purchased the battery separately, and now the next thing that we have down here is the rest of the case for the battery. Just a plastic case, so in case water does come up, you get your battery protected and out. So one of the things about this system that I like is a lot of the parts already came are supposed to have come pre-assembled in the box, or at least all the parts are here. And you can see it looks like they're mostly pre-assembled here at the bottom. And so if I lift up on the assembly here, I can tell it's actually not completely pre-assembled. So here's, there's a rubber union fitting here, a float switch, and then there's the plug in there for the battery backup, along with a Y. This is an inch and a half. Uh, presumably it's PVC, yeah, PVC pipe that you can use for your sump pump drainage. So we'll set that aside. And then now we've got, uh, what do we start with next? Now we've got our main sump pump. This runs on AC power. If we put the power switch aside, this is a half horse sump pump. There's actually an extra check valve here to make sure that the backflow pressure on the pipe uh, stays off the pump to keep that operational. We've got our float switch and our submersible power cord comes with a nice handle here on top that I'm holding. It's black. Uh, you can get pumps in a variety of colors, but I really wouldn't worry about them because you're not going to worry. About, you're generally not going to be looking at your submersible sump pump. And then here's our other cord. This cord here has a pass through. You can plug it in and then plug another cord into the other side of it. And so this is actually the float switch that goes with the main pump and the other cord. So there's two of these that are independent, so you can replace the float switch separate from replacing the pump in the event that there's a failure in the future. So that's a nice added feature. Now if we come down here and look at the battery pump. So this runs on 12 volts of DC power that's stored in the marine battery. Nothing fancy about this. No major visible markings on the outside. Nice little finger handle here. And there's an extra check valve and rubber hose fitting here at the top. And if we look at the bottom here, you can see there's some feet to be able to set it off the bottom of your sump. And there's a little screen there to be able to help guard and keep debris out of this pump. This presumably is going to be a little bit less powerful than the main AC pump because it is running on 12 volts of DC power. As we set that down and look at the other end of the connection, We've got this little odd plug here that plugs into our battery case. And so our battery case serves as our motherboard for the entire system. 
that's going to control which pump kicks on when. We'll want to refer to our user manual to know the difference in heights that we want to set it to. And then that's it for what comes in the box. So you can already tell that there's some suggestion that the battery pump should be setting up just a little bit higher than the regular pump. Uh, just by the way that the plumbing is already set up here. But you can have them both on the ground. The nice Y is here, so then you can go ahead and then take plumb this right into the rest of your system. And I'll show you when I do the install on this on another video. Barracuda sells separate marine grade batteries specifically for their sump pumps, so you can use any just generic, excuse me, uh, any generic uh, deep cycle marine battery. So this is the one that I bought, uh, so I was able to turn in the battery uh, for a core or to not uh, have to sustain a core charge. Uh, it will accept a 27 or a size 27 battery in the case, and so it's a slightly larger. You can also use um, a smaller battery, but I thought a bigger battery the better. And then the the information or the controller should be able to sustain this. So you can see there's the screw on terminals here and the bolts that came with this battery. Let's go ahead and screw that on. And then you got the other battery covers there to be able to keep protected and out of the way. Uh, so the total cost of this kit, when you include a battery and the two pumps, is close to about $400. But for the peace of mind of having an extra backup and replacing uh, your existing sump pump with a brand new one, I think it's well worth it, considering the deductible and homeowner's insurance policy uh, or the annual cost of sump pump insurance, at least uh, around where I live, a sump pump line item on a homeowner's insurance policy is about four to $500, depending on your insurance company. So if you go ahead and get the battery backup system, you can spend $400 once versus four to 500 every year in additional homeowner's insurance premium fees. And then if you had a claim, your deductible on top of that. So to me, it's just good, smart investment here to be able to live nice and comfortably, not have to worry about your sump pump in the event of a power failure during a rainstorm. I'll show you how this goes in another video, and I hope you found this useful, and have a great day. Bye.